Hey everybody, Haku here, and uh, just woke up on Thursday, and somehow uh, One Piece is actually out. So, time for my live reaction and review for One Piece manga chapter 881. Um, yeah, last time we had a giant tsunami coming at the group. Luffy was kind of beat to hell and back by Katakuri, and things are going pretty rough. So we're gonna see uh, what they have to pull out to uh, survive all of this. And I think that was really. I thought last chapter was good, but I think the most exciting part of last chapter was probably just the ending where we left off like how are they gonna survive all of this stuff and the fact that we ended with an ending like that and didn't have to take a week off for a break that's great too so uh yeah let's go ahead and uh start uh start reading so we got one piece manga chapter 881 we got the jump cover here Looks nice, looks nice, just your usual things. Got Luffy on the front a little. Okay. Moving along. Uh, more fan art, moving along. Oh, is that? No, that's more fan art. Alright, chapter 881, a wave room. And I feel like a sneeze is coming on, but I'm a power through it. Uh, dropping in on the lives of the Straw Hat Grand Pirate Fleet, Volume 15, Psy Arc, Don Psy and Baby Five's Wedding. Ah, uh, so we get to see the wedding, and we see uh, Boo and Don, T Don Chin Zhao in there. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> and Psy's all beaten up his, at his wedding. Okay. And now we get into the actual chapter. <gasps> what we came here for. Um, unless you came here for the cover story. Uh, a raging wall of despair. What the hell do you mean we're done for? Says Luffy. What's going on over there? Oi, guys! Wee! <laughs> and the huge tsunami's just coming at them. If that thing swallows us up, we're done for, says Jimbei. Yeah, coulda burst now, says Chopper. Nami's just yelling. We can't, we don't have enough cola, Brooke is crying. Pedro, I'm so sorry after all you did to keep us alive, says Carrot. Oh, it was where? Ding! Wait, 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 stop, says Pedro Spero. Hold on a minute, Mama. At this rate, you're gonna sink the cake, too. Hurry, okay. That's kind of a. Uh, boy, I, I don't know how I feel about that way to get out of it. Seems way too easy and convenient. Cake! Hacha! And then Chopper is tying off the sail, so's Carrot. It, is this good? says Brooke. Jimbei. And then Jimbei is uh, holding on to the ropes they've tied to the sails. Yeah, that should be enough. You're crazy. How do you expect to control this entire ship with just one, er, with just that one sail? Nami, where's the wind? A strong wind should come from the south soon. What are you trying to do, Jimbei? High speed tacking. What? You're going to steer the ship? We're going to the green room. He says, going to the green room. What? What? Oh well, I don't know. Where the hell is that? Why are you turning us back toward the wave, Jimbei? Ah, I get what he's... So maybe they're going to like, you know how when a wave crashes over, it's got the little tube in it? Maybe that's what they're going to try to do. Okay. Tur er, turning us back toward the wave, Jimbei? I get it now, the green room is heaven, right, says Brooke. Doctor, looks like I'm finally coming for you, Chopper. It's over, there's no way you can surf this thing. Hold fast to the ship, he says. So yeah, they're just gonna surf this thing out. Okay, that is that is really cool. That is a good way to do this. And then Nami, cowering, looks up. So this is the other side, huh? It's pretty, says Chopper. She's a fine ship, this one. The green room is the short-lived space made inside the crest of a breaking wave, a wave room. Children, er, fishmen children love playing in it. We're inside the wave? We're coming out now. Hold on. Wow, we've got a fine ship and a fine navigator. With the right steering, the ship's invincible. Okay, again, like, building up that he is going to be steering. The right steering. Amazing, he's controlling this slope just like it's an extension of himself. I've never seen a helmsman like this. They specifically said helmsman. <laughs> okay there, Oda's hitting it a little bit too hard today. You're so cold, Jimbei. So we're not dying? <laughs> okay, 
Okay, that was great, because it builds up Jimbei as a helmsman, and it lets them survive in a good way. Ah, that was great. That was a great way for them to survive the tsunami. Couldn't be happier at all. Wedding, cuckoo, wahaha, <laughs> well, whatever. Because, I mean, if Peru Sparrow had actually stopped her, that would kind of suck, it'd be too easy, or if somebody had just come out of nowhere and saved them. I probably wouldn't have complained about that, because there are a lot of people that could do that, I guess, like the Fishman Pirates, possibly, but I think this is a way better outcome than that would have been. Eat this, you ants, says Perispero. Moving along. Getting a little distracted. Perispero here. Oi, Katakuri, we're done over here. What? Oi, Nami, broke carrot. And we see Brulee. Oh dear, we were just about to invade the ship too. No need. Sadly, their ship has sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Wah, that's strange, sister. The other side of this mirror doesn't look like it's underwater. Yeah, it broke. Sister, the mirror, it just... And then, uh, Katakuri is staring on silently. Nami, the mirror, what? Katakuri's design is so cool, but now I just can't stop thinking about Dennis or whatever the character's name was from the Spongebob movie. Ever since the spikes on the bottom of his boots, I can't stop seeing his design as that. Uh, Nami, the mirror, why'd you... Nami, Luffy can't come back here anymore, says Chopper. Listen up. Break them all. All the mirrors on board, says Nami. Are you trying to interfere with Luffy? Let me focus on this guy, she thinks back. Those were the captain's orders. Hurry. Look, all the mirrors to the ship are breaking. And they hear all the crashing noises. What's going on? Sister, this. Maybe they're still alive. Weird. Because the ship sunk, the mirrors are probably breaking due to the water pressure. Says <laughs> the one long neck laughing. Oi, Luffy. I need to talk to you. Get away from the others. Okay. Chopper, are you guys okay? Yeah. Oi, straw hats. Everyone's okay, Luffy, says Carrot. And then we see Katakuri still looking over at him. What the heck happened? That candy guy said that the sunny sank. We thought we were gonna sink too, but Jimbei did something crazy. Luffy, we broke all the mirrors on board, says Chopper and broke talking. Okay, I'm glad. Now, no enemies can come bother us here, but you won't be able to get back either. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be okay. And then Nami cuts off. No, you won't. You don't even have any plans, do you? Listen closely, Luffy. Sanji's making the cake on Kakao Island right now. We're heading over there to meet with him. Should we, er, we should meet up with him in ten hours at the earliest, around one in the morning. Understand? After you beat up that guy, find a mirror that can take you to Cacao Island. We'll meet up there, okay? <clears throat> Luffy. And then, uh, puts his hand over his mouth and gets nailed in the gut with a kick from Katakuri. Man, that's a really good looking panel. The mirror cra- er, uh, the mirror shatters. What the? Luffy's squeezing his mouth like a I, I don't even know what to describe that as. Did he just... What did he stuff in his mouth? I'm hoping he didn't... Okay, no, the mirror shard shattered. He didn't shove that in his mouth, did he? If so, that's pretty rough. Luffy, what happened? Gah, he says. Okay. Ah, Willow Mochi. And then he uh, uses his multi-stomp attack again. And it seems like a couple of them are hitting Luffy, but he's still running with his hand over his mouth. Yeah, we see blood and shards of mirror, so I guess he stuffed it into his mouth so he could continue to talk to them. <laughs> that creepy grin. Hurry up already, guys. Come on, I'm, not, I'm gonna drop dead waiting here. Okay. Yeah. Later, okay? I ain't plan on er I ain't planning on dying here, is what you will say, but are you sure you want those to be your last words? says Kata Curry, bringing out the uh trident again. I ain't planning on dying here. Captain Luffy's determination, one piece will be on break next week. Can't really complain because we've gone 
a good three or four weeks without a break, haven't we? We've gone a good while since the last break. Yeah, no complaints at all there. Besides, it was a really good chapter. So uh, I feel like next time, hopefully we finish up this Luffy and Katakuri fight, because even though it is great so far, and it has been great, I don't want it to drag on too much longer, because it has been kind of a while now. Uh, so hopefully we go ahead and get a real fight between them, like a one chapter, just a fight that ends it all, and then we can move on to Sanji finishing the cake and Luffy escaping out there or whatever. Or maybe Luffy doesn't even beat Katakuri, and next chapter is just sort of a balance between what Luffy's doing fighting and Sanji and them meeting up and prepping the cake, and the chapter after that Luffy can just run away and escape through a mirror to Kakao Island. Uh, that seems less likely, since Katakuri is still a threat he would have to deal with, but, you know, maybe. <clears throat> we'll see how <clears throat> sorry, we'll see how Oda decides to write this one. So, uh, yeah, let me sk skim back through, see if there's anything I want to discuss about this one. Um, okay, moving along. I like that we actually got to see Sai and Baby, er, and Baby Five's wedding. I almost said Baby Sai. <laughs> that, that the uh, new name now that they're married. So, uh, moving along there. I love the way they escaped the wave, though. Like, because I, th I thought when Paris Paris said, no, don't, or whatever, or hold on a minute, Mama, you're going to sink the cake, too. I thought when he said that, he was going to trick her into not attacking them anymore. So, I'm really glad that didn't happen. I love that, uh, I love that they settled it in a way that gives Jinbei just a ton of development, showing that, of course, he's a very good helmsman, because, uh, he's used to this from being a fishman and whatever. And I like as well that calling it the green room, instead of whatever the actual term is, is actually uh, really cool because it shows the difference in cultures where he's like, green room is uh, what we called it as kids. It's a game that fishmen children play. So I like that. And of course all the art looks nice. I mean, goes without saying really. Uh, Chopper's reactions to everything. Okay. So from there, so he says, eat this, you ants. I'm wondering what that was referring to, or if it was just him thinking that they died and that was just his, uh, yeah, that might have just been his, uh, haha, I think I just won statement. Because after that, he calls in Dakota Curry and says that they won. All right. All the mirrors start breaking, so they know that they're actually still alive, but not like they can do much about it. I like that one panel of uh, Nami saying th those are the captain's orders or whatnot. I think that was a good looking panel. Luffy talks to everyone through the mirror and smashes it into his mouth, so I guess that he's going to be able to talk to them because of the shards of mirror in his mouth, maybe? I don't know. That could be possible. Or maybe he just talked through the shards of mirror there at the end, and that's the only time he's going to be able to. I like. I just noticed the one where he goes in for the multi stomping attack. Before he did that, he had a big blown up leg that he uh, went for a stomp with, almost like Gear Third. Okay. So Luffy's grin. All right. So now everyone is prepared to do what they gotta do. His crew is making it to Kakao Island. Luffy's gonna fight. He doesn't plan on dying here. But he has been... Nothing short of an awakening I see will allow him to beat Katakuri. Because Katakuri right now has shown himself to be a level above what Luffy's got going on. So Luffy's gonna have to step it up to beat him. And even then, you know, I don't feel like... Even though it's a good power clash, and it's really interesting and fun to see them fight, I feel like there's more of a fight for survival than a fight to win. I, I just feel like winning here might be a little bit too much. Because, I don't know, maybe let Katakuri get built up a little bit more. Don't let him get defeated yet uh, when we go against Big Mom's crew in a future arc. Then let him be defeated by somebody. If they go against Big Mom's crew in a future arc. Uh, but I don't know. Having him be defeated here by Luffy alone, 
I'm just not sure after the way the two of them have been built. And even if Luffy does activate an awakening, I feel like Katakuri's a good enemy, and I feel like people will be upset if I say he's not a good enough enemy to activate Luffy's uh, awakening on. It's not that he's not a good enough enemy, I think, but it's more like I don't feel like he has a really deep emotional attachment to Luffy or something. Luffy doesn't... Like, Luffy's trying to save Sanji, but he doesn't have this hate for Katakuri. Like, say he... Like... I, I don't want to call it hate, but like... Say he was disgusted and hated Doflamingo for all the evil things he did. Like, there was a deep emotional attachment there. So, like... He's, he's not a villain like... Doflamingo or any of the others where Luffy has real emotional investment against him in particular. So I think that maybe defeating Katakuri might be a little bit too soon. So I think maybe Luffy should just find a way to survive and escape and uh, leave the being able to beat him for a future time. But we'll see how things go. I'm not really going to be disappointed either way. I think it's going to be good either way. Uh, but that's it. So either way, I enjoyed the chapter. Like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this week's chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more uh, One Piece, both anime and manga, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I'll try to keep you updated there on stuff for the channel. And uh, if you want to link to our Discord, just ask and I'll give you one. So uh, yeah, this will be up as soon as I can get it up. I'm recording this in the morning and... Uh, after this directly will be I'll be recording Boku no Hero Academia so that'll be posted in the afternoon as soon as I get this posted I'm going to be working on that so uh, yeah that's it thank you once again for watching I'll see you all next time